Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we will continue with chapter 9 uh, of practical SQL. So we're going to solve the exercises like always. Uh, make sure to have read the chapter and to have run the code because you need the table and all the data that is provided with the book. Okay, I'm just going to work on the exercises right away. So um, in the try it yourself section you'll see these exercises we need to um, add some information so we need to inspect the table and uh, extract some useful information first we need in the first exercise we need to create two new columns uh, for meat processing and poultry processing and uh, each of these can be a boolean so it will be true only uh, if we have meat processing in the activities for that row okay but before we get started let's just run a select all query to see what we have in our table select star from meat and I'm going to use control space to get the table name and run it and here you'll see all of the rows there are 6201 rows okay and now um, we need to add these two new uh, columns okay I've already added those so um, but I'm just going to show you the query how you can do that okay we need to um, alter the table in this case so we're going to change the table and we need to add two new columns and to do that you need to write a query like this alter table and the name of the table I'm going to get it with control space and then uh, we need to add first a, a column called meat processing so I'm going to do add column and the name of the column meat processing and the data type. The data type is going to be a boolean so let's put boolean here and we need to add another column so I'm going to do add column again and I'm going to call this uh, poultry processing and this is going to be a boolean again okay and after you so this is the first exercise you just need to alter the table and add to columns and put the data types okay make sure to run this query and you're going to have the two new extra columns okay now that you have these two extra columns they will be with null values and we want to put true or false we want to put true only in the cases where for example this company in this row is doing uh, meat processing we need to to uh, set meat processing column true for this one and to do that we need to check the activities so let's see we should have activities somewhere here okay I'm not let's select to to see the activities I oh okay <laughs> it's right here I am I was just missing it okay so you see um, you have all of these activities and what we need to do is we need to check in the activities uh, column to see if the company is doing meat processing or poultry processing but as you can see you might have companies that do both and it's just a text it's just a string of text where it says meat processing comma poultry processing so the best way to check if we have um, this so we, we need to find if this text meat processing is found in the activities column and to do that we can use the um, the like the like operator which we learned in the previous chapters so we might do something like this for example for the meat processing column we're going to update let me comment this one out 
so we're going to update meet poultry let's get the name of the table okay and what we are doing we are setting the value meat processing okay we are setting it to true uh, and when are we going to do that we are going to filter out where so we are going to filter the rows with a where clause where activities like and we're going to use a pattern so the pattern of text or uh, the text where we want to search for meet well actually meet processing and we want to so it might have some text uh, after it or before so that's why we are using the percentage here to signify that there might be some more text behind processing or some more before meat processing so this like is going to search for string for a string that looks like this so that has meat processing inside the string for example in our case it will uh, match this row because this row has meat processing in it as text okay and when we run this we are going to set true so the colon meat processing will be set true for all of these rows which have in the activities the string meat processing make sure to run it and it will do that for you you might also do something which is um, well maybe this is smarter using I like for uh, a case insen insensitive uh, search so in this case we, we can also put meat processing with uh, lowercase because in this case when we do I like it means we don't consider the case of the letters so we are going to grab all the rows that have meat processing with uh, lowercase letters or even with uppercase letters we are going to get all of them so we might do this one as well and let's do the same for uh, poultry processing we are going to update the table again let's comment this one we're going to set poultry processing to true where activities like okay poultry processing okay let's run this yep now let's do a select star to see what we have in our table star and okay let's run it okay now if we go to the end we have this meat processing and poultry processing so we have true right here because if we check this row let's go and see in the activities we have poultry processing so this one makes sense to have poultry processing true and meat processing should be false because there is no meat processing there great so this is what we wanted uh, that's what the exercise is asking for let's comment this one out and now for the last exercise we just need to use the data from the new columns to count how many plants perform each type of activity okay and then there's a bonus we'll do also the bonus later but first let uh, use the count function to check how many plants perform each type of activity and to do that we just do a simple uh, select count so select count and first let's count meat processing what is this going to do it's going to check uh, the column meat processing and count how many of those rows have values because as you can see we have either true or null so it's going to grab only the rows which have meat processing true and it's not going to count the ones which have it null okay so count meat processing and let's call this meat processing count so this is the what we want to show in the results and let's put this as an alias okay and what else do we want we also want to count 
the poultry processing and let's call this poultry processing count where are we so let's specify the table ha. from meat and I'm going to use okay let's put this here okay let's run this and here we have the count there are 4764 plants which do meat processing and 3728 that do poultry processing now for the bonus we need to check how many plants perform both activities okay so for that we're going to write another select let's comment this one or let's copy this one and commented okay now in this case um, well it's better to remove this part we are going to write a count star because we're going to filter the results so count star is going to count the rows but only the rows that we filter from this meat poultry uh, eggs egg inspect and we're going to write to write a filter we're going to write a where clause and the where clause is going to be um, so we're going to check for both meat processing true and poultry processing true. Let's check the values here. Meat processing is going to be equal to true and poultry processing is going to be true. okay this one should work let's run this okay ah meat hmm I think we have ah it's a it's just a typo okay so this is the count so we are getting all the plants that do both meat processing and poultry processing using this wear clothes. Okay guys I think uh, that's it for this chapter as always try to uh, study the chapter try to do the exercises yourself and go to my videos if you find this explanation helpful. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to support the channel. Also, if you want to buy the book from the author, uh, check the Amazon affiliate link in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.